Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write python program to print floyd's triangle so guys this is the floyd's triangle pattern as you can see so we have four number of rows over here and in the first row we have the number 1 in the second row we have numbers 2 and then 3 and then in the third row we have three numbers 4 5 6 and in the fourth row we have 7 8 9 10 so guys basically with the increase in the number of rows there's a increase in the number of elements that are present inside each row over here and also there is a global number that is being displayed which is getting incremented after each printing over here so guys how the algorithm for pattern programs work so basically each pattern program has two or more than two loops the number of the loop depends on the complexity of the pattern or the logic basically for this particular pattern we will have only two for loops over here and then the first for loop will work for the row the second for loop that is the nested for loop will work for the column so guys let us check this with the help of python program how we can print the floyd's triangle using the vs code over here so guys the very first thing that we will be doing is we will ask the user to enter the number of rows which will be converted to the integer over here. Here. so inside this int function we have the input function and we will ask the user to enter number of rows and then colon so guys once the user enters the number of rows it will be of the string data type so this int function will help us in order to convert that string to the integer which will be stored in this rows variable over here now guys simply we can have for loop over here so for i n range now this range it will go from 0 up to the number of rows that is entered by the user because that many number of rows we need to print as you can see in this example so guys over here the range is going from 0 up to rows and then inside this we will have the nested for loop so over here for j and then again we have the range function over here it will go from 0 up to the value of i so guys initially the value of i is 0 so it will go from 0 up to i plus 1 over here that's because the second parameter is not included when we use the range function so basically in the first iteration it will go from 0 up to i value is 0 so 0 plus 1 is 1 so 0 comma 1 which means only once the control flow will go inside this for loop over here which is the nested for loop that is the inner for loop and then after this colon what we have to do is we have to print this number one over here so guys what we can do is before this outer for loop we can have the number variable over here so number initially the value is one in this case and then the same number we need to print so over here we will say print and then we will say this number now it should not go to the next line until the control flow is printing inside this inner for loop so over here we will use the end parameter and then we will separate the numbers using the space character over here and then guys after this print statement also the number needs to be incremented by 1 because next time the number is getting printed the new number is 2 and then we have 3 and then we have 4 5 6 and so on every time after the printing of the previous number the next number will be incremented by 1 so over here we will simply say number plus it is equal to 1 which means we are incrementing the value of number by 1 over here now guys after this inner for loop what we can do is we have to come to the next line in order to print the remaining number of rows over here so simply we can provide the print function so that the control flow comes to the next line in this case so guys this is the program that will help us in order to print the floyd's triangle based on the number of rows that is entered by the user so guys let us check this i'll save this file now and try running this code so as you can see user is being asked to enter the number of rows so let us provide four as the number of rows initially when we press enter as you can see we have got the floyd's triangle over here it says 1 and then 2 3 and then on the next line we have 4 5 6 and then we have 7 8 9 10 so guys this is the floyd's triangle that we were expecting to be printed on the console let me just run this code once again and this time we will provide 10 number of rows over here when we press enter as you can see we have got 10 number of rows over here and there's a beautiful floyd's triangle that can be seen on the terminal each time the number is getting incremented by 1 and then accordingly we reach the number to 55 which is the last element of the last row over here which is having 10 number of columns in this case so guys this is the way that we can easily write a python program to print the floyd triangle please make sure that you practice on your own so 
so that on different inputs you get different outputs make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is python program to merge two dictionaries so stay tuned